All right, let's go. Sunday wrap up. We've got two games to go through. The Bunnies, the Raiders, the Titans, the Sharks, and a couple of interesting ones here, especially the 20 to nil, uh, very early scoreline for the Raiders over the, the Bunnies and, and you know, too much to, to handle to get back in this game. And you know, Cook tried to in the, in the second half there, especially, you know, picking up a try and, and just, you know, going along with his 54 in base as per use. He's just been incredible all year. And especially at the moment with Grant, you know, going down for the last couple of weeks, Cook's been the key, the clear winner. So if you're owning him, you're, you're definitely in a, in a, a, a top ranking there. Publi again with a try, so two weeks in a row for him. And he's a, you know, a very sneaky one, obviously. You know, he's someone that has averaged in the 50s before and hasn't really done it this year. In the last couple of weeks, he's he's really killed it. But he's someone who's going to be playing Origin and not someone you want to think about at this time anyway, but potentially after, you know, round 17 there. Hudson also scoring a try as well, but Starling was the, the big winner here with 57 for him. And, and a couple of tries just to go along with his 38 in base was really nice. So uh, I think it was 27 in 14 minutes or something in the first half. And then obviously you know, came back down to earth a little bit, but you know, end up with a great score. So if you're owning him, he's going to be playing around 13. He's, he's averaging 48 and a half. So he's been great. If anyone who uh, is still holding him, I don't know if there's, you know, shout, shout out to yourself in the comments if you actually traded him out after, you know, one or two low scores or uh, then bring in you know, Elliot to play nine and then Wolford to play nine as well. Let me know if you did that because that would be a little bit sad, unfortunately. There's a few people looking to trade him out, um, if you remember that a couple of weeks ago. All right, so a few decent 50s from some guys that aren't too relevant. Tarpany with a, a really you know, big minute game, so to get a nice score there is good. Horsbrook got some bigger minutes, which is strange. The so 48 this week, and we'll speak about um, you know, Elliot in a second, but you know got a, uh, got more minutes than, than him. And, and Horsbrook is one of those guys that he's just that PPM beast. So if you can get any anywhere close to a 50 minute uh, you know, regular games, then he's going to be interesting, interestingly relevant. That's for sure. Graham was solid 49. So Elliot, we we're really happy with the the PPM there, and I think a lot of people were playing Ilias, for example, over Elliot. Uh, when, when Elliot was, you know, in 18, they're not going to be playing at all. So, yeah, if you if you switch that over, you got the extra nine points, which is fine. Uh, we'd like him to get about 50 minutes though, because that PPM is is awesome for that. But at 447, still got obviously plenty of money to make, even getting scores in the 40. So, yeah, you sweep with what Elliot produced. You know, you got a, a loft load. You know, four tackle breaks there. Some more run meters would have been nice, but you know, it is what it is. We you know we can't can't get it all correct every week. Um, Arrow there with 41. So if you're owning him, he's getting close to a sell either the next week or the week after there is the way to go with that one. We had Rushton actually came in and, and scored big big points in uh, some decent minutes as well. So again, strange that he got such you know big minutes compared to you know what Elliot would. You expect a, a bigger discrepancy there, 50 maybe, uh, 30 for Rushton, 25, and you know, maybe a few less for Horsburgh, for example. It's really uh, interesting the way they worked that one out. But anywho... Ilias, who got the 34 from him. So again, you take that. You know, he makes a little bit more cash for us and you know, potentially will be moved on in 13 if you'd like. Uh, but also, he's also someone that you could just hold and and he becomes you know a solid... He's going to stay a solid scorer, probably make a tiny bit more cash and then you can uh, eventually move him on maybe after round 17, for example, because they play, they play that one and then you can move him on in 18. So something to think about there. All right, Trent, the people's people. He went okay. You know, he got the 80 minutes is what we were hoping for, but just the, the run meters uh, wasn't exactly there at 64. You know, tackles at 34 is okay. Um, you know, probably expected a little bit more than, you know, with with, with Raiders having a, a lot of the ball, but obviously they, they scored a fair few points as well. And there there weren't a lot of big tacklers in this game as well. So there's something to think about. A little bit of an anomaly. You know, Cook playing the 80 minutes in and defending a lot. Tony have 44 when most of the time he has 50. There's really no one else in the game that got anywhere close to, um, you know, 40 tackles. So 34 for Trent and also Arrow with it with the big tacklers in this game. So that's obviously down a little bit than what would be norm. He had three penalties and you know two missed tackles to say normal, and then the error. So the three the three penalties kills us a little bit as well. So we we're expecting somewhere around the 40-ish mark would be ideal. So I definitely think that he has, you know. If he gets a, a chance to play, um, has an opportunity to still score you know, decently well. They're still going to need that edge position as an option because Host is out. So Host is playing sort of 50, 55 minutes um, you know, off the bench there. And, and they need to fill that spot. So hopefully he does keep that, you know, he does get that position. And I think he, you know, as a young fellow coming into the game, he should be able to get, you know, have an opportunity to take that. Uh, so that's my general thoughts on on peoples at the moment. We're, there's some news that Cam Murray's coming back next week. Is more what I was what, was, what I was talking about there. So 
if he can take the Jacob Host position, then he'll be fine. You know, 55 minutes, a little bit more impact off the bench. He should be able to you know, score somewhere in the mid-30s to 40. You know, just that, um, just that news of, of Murray that was a little bit too late, like getting it, you know, maybe two days before would have been ideal. And unfortunately, we did not receive that news very early. But there you go. For anyone who brought him in, that was that. Schneider got a last minute call up, so 26 for him. If you, um, yeah, I saw one or two people say that, uh, that the Schneider cost them using the loop on Jeremiah and I, for example. So, yeah, that was a tough one. And he's now at 26, kind of probably going to lose a little bit more cash as well. So, if you haven't moved him on yet, look, if he's going to play 13 now, it's probably the time to hold him. But if you moved him on last week, don't worry about it, you'll be fine. Wolf for there with 23, so 26 minutes is about what we thought. Yeah, very similar to last week, what he got at the at the beginning, and then he um so yeah in his first stint, and then obviously came back and picked up a little bit. But he still ended up with a try assist, so doing a good job. And Blake Taft, the eleven, just not yeah, just he's had a tough time. He's yeah needs to be moved on either this week coming or the following week. Just have that in your mind when you're when you're looking at him. And that's about it. We'll move on to the last game of the round, and the Titans v the Sharks. So probably not as great as we would have hoped. We had the, the Nico Hines field goal into a sin bin. And if you actually want to count up his negatives this week, was pretty ridiculous. Negative eight through tackles and errors. The four penalties is crazy. So 16 there minus the um, extra five. So neg 21 for Hines could add an, a real special game. If you captained him over Papali'i, you were happy. You got the extra 16 points there. Um, if you captained him over Cleary, obviously not as great. Uh, but yeah, to score a try, set up one. And to go along with all these base, he was he was great, along with um along with Braley as well. So a really nice game for him with the line break and the try assist for Blakey Braley. Well done to him. So it's good to see Isan Masters come out and you know hasn't played in a while and come out with a nice game as well. So he's always had that you know plenty of talent. When we saw him at the Tigers, for example, he was great and and you know nice to see him come out and have a nice game. Twenty six tackles, two misses to go along with his you know his line break and try. What on to him and, and Lockie Miller coming over and you know playing his first game for the Sharks. He had, he had an awesome game as well. 67 points with a try, nine tackle breaks, 294 meters. You can't really ask for much more of a debut than that. So obviously not going to be an option unless there's an injury because Kennedy will be back uh, this week. So yeah, just one of those things. You know, clap it up, well done, uh, and we move on. Kind of Tracy had a great game as well. We would have hoped uh, for Talakai for a nice 66, but has not happened. One interesting player that we need to speak about is Jaden Campbell. He's a 5'10 now. He's going to be a little bit more expensive after this week there. And he's had two really good games in a row. And, and in games that they aren't even dominating. So for him to get a, you know, a bunch of kick meters as well, to go along with his 160, obviously he's really elusive. He you know he can score tries. He can set them up. And you know tackle breaks and, and some offloads in the like there. But he's yeah, he's been very interesting. And Sexton's had a couple of good weeks as well. Um, Campbell, someone I think is definitely on, you know, everyone, should be on everyone's radar. I think after that couple of weeks, he's finally back. He's, he's good to go, and obviously playing well. So, yeah, Sexton as as well. It's obviously an interesting one, but I, you know, after seeing the scores that he was producing earlier, I don't think I can I could do it personally. But he's super cheap now at four four two. Jared Wallace with two tries, so what on to him? And Cam McInnes, we're really happy with. The 51 minutes is probably a touch lower, a tad lower than what we would hope, but the 56, that PPM is awesome. Obviously, with zero negatives there. So 29 tackles is probably a little bit low too, but overall, uh, a great game for Cam and, and should be you know, should be moving into a bunch of teams uh, over the next you know, three to four weeks. Uh, probably wouldn't pick him up now, considering it's one week before uh, he misses one. But yeah, if you picked him up in the last few, you've done really well. All right, both for more. So a few people asked about him, you know, what we should be doing with him. I think he's just a clear hold. They play the round 13 by. He's a 47-point player. Overall, that's great. He's made plenty of cash for you. He's not going to lose anything over the next few weeks. So just hold on to Bowie, and uh, he'll do a good job for you. Teague, on the other hand, is, is one to, I think, you know, we're ready to move on. He's made 180K, uh, done really well for you. I think it's time to, to go, obviously, playing off the interchange bench. He did manage to score pretty well. So if you... Are still holding on to him. You know, lucky got the 37, but it's time to time to go now. All right, another person that's time to go is Mr. Talakai, the 22. Uh, looks like he's got an injury as well, a foot ankle injury, um, and just yeah, this has not scored well. And again, the, the experiment on on my end uh, obviously didn't work. I decided to give him one more week as well, and, and he you know, butchered me, him and uh, Tamalola this week. I had really actually gained ranks in, in my team personally, and, and that was with Lola and uh, and Talakai. So everyone was great around that, but those two guys will be going this week. Looks like an injury. So Talakai, time to go. Um, and that's around all.
Trindle, low, unfortunately. Um, and Fafita, they were 20. If you're still holding on to him, he's you're ready to be moved on as well. So there you go, guys. That's the wrap-up for the week. I hope you enjoyed all those videos. Jump back into Thursday, Friday, and the Saturday ones. Get your fix on all the players. Obviously, you can tell I, I delve in pretty deep into all these players. And, you know, if you are new, please subscribe. You can catch all of these videos. Obviously, plenty, you know, two a day coming out at the moment. I hope you enjoy them, and we'll catch you in the next one, guys. See you later.